Hello everybody, it's Vitaly at Red Barn Productions. And this is going to be a quick little video showing you how to set up your audio device in Livestream Studio and to use a couple of features that you might not know about. So let's get this pulled up where you can see it. Now I've got a scene set up here for demonstration purposes only. And we're going to come down here to add input. We're going to click audio only. In this case, I'm going to choose my microphone on the laptop because I've got this one used in another program. We're going to rename this. Especially when you have more than one input, you, it, it helps to label them so you know what you're dealing with when you're in the, the mixer section. Now that we've got that renamed, we're going to come over here and click the little gear icon. And we're going to come over here and click audio. And in my case, I have a stereo array. So it once it's marked left and right, and it'll come into my scene and stereo. But if this was a mono source, you would probably want to go ahead and enable the right because it would just have the one input and you'd make it a stereo source. In this case, I don't need to, so we're going to undo it. Now we're going to come over here to audio. And there you can see my laptop microphone showing up uh, here in the mixer section. But if you notice, we still don't have any audio in our live stream, which means we won't have any audio in our recording either if we're recording. So we need to enable that audio. Come right back down here and find your audio source. And click on the audio and turn it red. And now you'll see that we have audio in our live stream or recording if we were recording. And the same would be over here. Like the, you notice this one's disabled, turned down. But if you want it into your live stream and you're recording, you're going to have to enable it or, or whatever down here. If you don't want it, you disable it. If you want it, you enable it. Okay, now back to the features that I was talking about that some of you may not know about because it's not widely known. Livestream Studio added a compressor gate limiter EQ and it's under filters right here. We have limiter, compressor, EQ, and the gate. Now, if you're not familiar with how to use those, I, I suggest you go get comfortable with using them. Uh, do some research, Google here on YouTube or whatever, you know, to learn how to use equalizers, compressors, limiters, and gates. It's well worth the effort. It will take your audio production to that next level. And I hope that helps. Once you, once you know how to do it, it's real easy to do, but it can be confusing for, for newcomers. So I thought I would make this to, to help you out. And uh, even some of us old timers don't always know when they add stuff in an update where it is. So if you've been looking for the filter and the EQ and the gate and, and live stream studio six, that's where it's at. Once again, I hope this helps. This is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions. Y'all have an awesome week, awesome weekend. Stay safe. And until next time, I'm out of here.